The world is not rectangular, it's a globe. The mountains are not rectangular, and yet you drop a gridiron pattern of streets on a city like San Francisco, which is a lot of hills, and therefore you have accidents with runaway cars and all kinds of problems. Because you see, the concepts that we have in our heads do not fit nature. The Greeks gave us the notion that there are three dimensions. There are not three dimensions. That is a purely abstract idea. Space is not full of rods going this way, this way, and this way. That's merely an abstract form of measurement. When nature gets together, it tends to become spherical and hexagonal, like uh, bubbles on soap, honeycombs, and things of that kind. But we keep thinking in rectangles, boxes. So we're in boxed. And boxes mean all sorts of classifications. Is you is or is you ain't? Is you black or is you white? Is you capitalist or is you communist? Is you good guys or is you bad guys? Stupid! And so the essential thing to get a sane technology moving is to get rid of the mythology of money. Can you see how, in time, we learn the truth of how we feel? Can you see how that unreal self, shaped and misshapen in this white world, can you see that the selves we are are not the selves we should be? We struggle in our childhood to understand the black and beating love we feel for our people. We love fully and treasuring our oneness with each other. We love mightily and give and want to give, except in time we learn that hidden fears build walls between us, child and parent. We find in time that we are not ourselves, are not allowed to be ourselves, black children, are not allowed to love each other wholly, fully, are not allowed to touch, hold, caress, and maybe fall asleep in their laps like princes. We find a fear between us. Black and royal love, black love, we want it, we give it, we build it, we share it, we make it, we make it. Love builds in us naturally, flows from our roots, flows from our feet, from the earth where our ancestors are. Black and royal love, receive it to share it. Black love, given in our birth for our becoming, given us, given us love, they've given us love, they've given us what we are. Black and betrayed by a white world, black and betrayed by a white world. Suppose you are a blind man, walking. You tap the ground with your stick. A sensation travels to your brain, first to be compared with past experience, then to redirect the movement of your muscles. So you move ahead, tapping again, and the circuit repeats. The ground, your stick, your brain, your muscles, and so on. Forming a chain of consequences, a circuit, able to correct itself, to take account of change, and keep you moving ahead. To leave out any stage in the circuit, or cut any link, is to bring your walk to an end. So you will accept, as a blind man, that the circuit links you inextricably to your surroundings, that you are inseparable from your context, and that this is a matter of bare necessity. The most destructive aspect of our present vision is the inability to see such circuits operating throughout the natural world. Circuits linking DNA with the cell, the cell with the body, the body with the social system, the social system with the ecosphere. Each individual organism kept alive or kept moving by the circuits extending outside it, receiving information from the surrounding context. And yet we continue to act as though survival were a matter of the plant or person in isolation, his particular nation, species or family never realizing that the boundaries we create and defend to protect individual interests instead cut their lifelines to survival. Here there were hundreds of trees, you know oh, that, yeah. hundreds of trees that were cut down and it pur uh, they, we were taught that the trees purify the air. 
So now we're going to get air that's not very pure anymore after all this. And we're supposed to um. uh, so just, just take a look at that now. Isn't that something? When you think of what we had a long time ago, and what you wind up with. And what you're going to end up with. Mud puddle on a row of houses. Mm. Concrete sidewalks that are hot as the dickens. When we, uh, when, on a day like this, we would walk and walk and walk and go down through the, remember the path where the kids went down to the big swing that was in oh, the tree yeah. for a lifetime? Oh, that swing was in that. that tree. Everybody in the neighborhood played on that swing at one time yeah. in their life. Yeah, and the children came out here. You didn't have to worry about them getting in any kind of mischief because the best they could do was play hide and seek in the honeysuckles and climb the trees and make noise like Tarzan up in the top of the trees. <laughs> Nobody worried about their children. And you knew exactly where they were because you could hear their voices all through the woods. And it was so lovely. And now we have to end our days with this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the press officer for the Yippee Ionic Council of Saucerites. Today at 9.02 p.m., the government of the United States fell before a flotilla of Yippee Eco submarines. The Bill of Rights of the United States Constitution has been snuffed. In its place, the Yippee Ionic Council has written a declaration of the hemp horde. In that, jive chomps have subsumed the substance of the earth beneath their manipulations. And in that famine, disaster, and acts of the hideoma relentlessly pursue a society causing eternal need for communality so that all shall share in the grains and foods and medicines and shelters necessary for common survival. And in that money and checks and letters of credit have been wedged between the people and the produce of earth so that no one of earthly mammals may have his just share without soul-destroying soul height, manipulation, con, and violence acted against the weaker, the unsuspecting, the off-balance, the enslaved, and the hyped. And in that, women have been stomped behind the kettle and bent upon the bed, denied their rightful position as co-leader and co-lover of the polis and federal congres of the earth, by the gungy, beery-breathed slavers of the male imperium ever since the days of the roam around Australopithecus punks. And in that wars have been waged in the name of nationalism, in the name of vengeance, in the name of punk gods, in the name of theft and ripoff, ever since there was a federation of huts or villages or nations or kingdoms or presidencies, and in these wars only the young led by the brutal theftish middle-aged pissant warriors and only the young plus women and babies and aged have been stomped and mushed and slaughtered in the name of a hype that journalists worship that bankers worship that speculators crouching and farting in the wheat futures pit worship that church creeps and network presidents worship hype 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 and pressure and pain hype and pressure and torture hype 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 and in that people fear for even the punkish freedoms they do enjoy while a shuddering sickness suffuses the lands because of the frozen CIA donkey puke printed on the editorial pages of the large metropolitan newspapers where mirth, grovel, and cringe and the cruel, twisted joy of being able to continue to babble and lie and write poorly in a slavery democracy. And that, that this fear of death and fear of pain creates disorder and lack of unity in the minds of the people. Accordingly, be it known that thonk, 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 with fist hands and fist minds chopping at the barricades, we are loath any longer to get sucked off in the neck by these jive werewolves.
that even with the foamy-lipped hirelings of market speculation flying overhead in their Air Force bombers, their drool dripping on the caches of fragmentation bombs, we turn our backs on death and declare a new civilization, a new plane of hemp horde dancers right inside the motherland. We are free from the American vomit, free from the marijuana laws, free from the draft, free from tax, free from any sexual convention, free from sex slavery, free from the American banking system, free from the fake started moronic satanoid novus ordo cyclorum, free from punk sentimentality toward an economic system modeled on a vampire movie, free from racism, nationalism, imperialism, free from the policies of the chop up and sacrificial murder of the topsoil, the coastline, the horizon, the moon, the air, and the entrails of the earth, free from the oppressor, from anyone who would line us up and take from us our planet, our light, our right to an equal, undeniable, irrevocable share of our own planet without end unto the eon, forever and ever, and endless cycles of birth and birth. Earth pollution is mind pollution. Consciousness pollution identical with filthy sky. Dirty thoughted usury simultaneous with capitalist metal dust in water courses. Murder of great and little fish same as self besmirchment Masturbatory thought control. Mace repression identical with VDT extinction of the bald eagle. Mother's milk poisoned as father's thoughts are poisoned. All greed stained over the automobile body designing table. What can poetry do? How flowers survive? How man see right mind, hear his own heart's music, feel cock joys, taste ancient natural grain bread and sweet vegetables, smell his own baby body's tender neck skin when 60% of state money goes to heaven on gas clouds, burning off war machine smokestacks, when violence floods the state from above. Flowery land raised for robot proliferation, metal rooted and asphalted down six feet below topsoil. Then when the bomb carrying children graduate from grammar school, sex drenched gymnasia, terrified of army finance meat bones, busted by the cops for grassy hair. Who can prophesy peace?